All right, so it's that time of year again, dormancy time, where I hear a lot of questions about dormancy, and this specific one is going to be about how does a Venus flytrap look during dormancy? Is your plant dormant or is it dying? Well, let's find out. Okay, so basically, a dormant Venus flytrap should still look relatively healthy. It shouldn't be completely dead. It shouldn't be all shriveled up. And we're going to be going through some picture examples later on. But first of all, I wanted to start off with the basic idea that some of these traps will die off. You still have some of these tall uh, summer growing traps on this plant. And then when we go into dormancy, the newly emerging traps get shorter, they're low to the ground, and the petiole, which is almost like the leaf part uh, of the Venus flytrap, which is a you know simpler way of describing it to most people, uh, it gets kind of shorter and low to the ground. So I'm going to zoom in and show you that. All right, so here we can see a... B-52, Venus flytrap, that's going dormant. The long, tall traps from the summer are kind of dying off, and all the new traps that are growing from the center are going to be kind of short. Uh, the traps don't really move as much because it's going to be too cold. It's still closing kind of slowly, uh, but basically you have nice, healthy-looking traps still, and that's overall how a dormant Venus flytrap will look. Eventually, all these tall uh, traps will die off, and then you just have all these short ones kind of closer to the ground during dormancy. All right, so here we have a pot of dormant Venus fly traps, and that one looks a little bit worse than the B-52 that I just showed you. So how come? Well, that's because I left this pot out on the patio unprotected when the weather was going down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 5 degrees Celsius. And due to that, there was a lot of wind burn and wind chill, which damaged some of these leaves. So you can see there's some brown spots kind of on the edges, yellowish brown. Um, there are some black leaves and then it looks kind of dehydrated. Uh, but again, that's mainly due to the wind chill, which is why I always recommend and sheltering the plants once it gets to about 30 Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. Now, of course, this plant isn't dying and this is perfectly normal for dormancy. It just looks a little bit worse than the perfect optimal condition, which is that smaller B52 in my hand. Uh, it just has a little bit of wind damage, wind burn on the leaves. Uh, so overall it is dormant, but the leaves are in a little bit worse state than they should be. Uh, it'll all grow back for the spring but what I strive for is a plant that's still relatively healthy looking like the B-52 that I have in my hand here. Okay, so here you can see some more examples of dormant Venus fly traps. All of the taller, growing, long kind of leaves, they're all dying off. You can see how tall this one used to be. And all of the new leaves that are growing kind of in October, November, are going to be very short, low to the ground. But as you can see, all those traps still look nice and healthy. Again, here everything has kind of died off, and all the new growth is low to the ground. And here we even have a red one. All the tall growth has died off, and everything is short and low to the ground. But overall, your plants should look still pretty healthy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through kind of a slideshow of pictures I've seen uh, that other people post because they're a good example. So I'm going to show you what is dormant and what is dying. Okay, so here is our first example. This is a Venus flytrap that's dying, not one that's going dormant. And you can tell because all of the leaves are shriveled up. They're flopping over. The traps are open. Uh, this is a plant that hasn't received enough water, and it's dying. All right, so here is our next Venus flytrap. That's dying, not going dormant. You can see all of the leaves have kind of this yellow coloration to them. There's no more traps or mouths that look nice and healthy. And the biggest thing is that there is no short growth coming from the center like I showed you earlier. So this is a plant that looks like it has dried out slightly, but more importantly, it hasn't received enough light for the past couple of months. 
All right, so here's our next example. And if you guessed that this plant was dying, you'd be correct. So as you can see, a lot of the growth is turning black. And that does happen on dormant Venus fly traps. Uh, but as you can see, every single trap here is turning black. And if you pay close attention, even the traps coming from the center, the very newest traps are also turning black and dying. So this is a plant that has likely been overwatered with the correct water as well and has lots of mineral burn on it all right so here's another common situation people say that when they're dormant they die all the way back to the soil all of the growth is black but the rhizome underneath is still dormant that can be true in a certain situation, but you should never aim for it. Uh, this is pretty much a plant that is not in good health, and I would say it's dying if not already dead. Now, they can grow back from the rhizome. However, I wanted to stress that that's, you know, an extreme lucky case. And when people think that this is a normal, typical appearance for dormancy, that's absolutely incorrect. If you're plant is completely black and brown on top there's no visible growth uh, that is a sign to worry because something is going wrong all right so how about this one dormant or dying um i almost wanted to say dormant but if you look at some of the leaves it looks like it got dehydrated at some point so it isn't too far off from what a dormant venus flytrap will look like uh, however there is some damage to it that is not normal so this isn't the best example of a dormant venus flytrap however it can still recover all right how about this dormant or dying this one's dying there is no healthy looking traps on this at all it looks like every single leaf has started to turn brown or yellow and like i said if all of the growth on top starts dying off there's something wrong the old traps die but for the winter time venus fly traps still should have that central kind of low to the ground shorter leaves that still have healthy traps on them so this one looks like it had a lack of light maybe dried out at some point but this plant is dying all right so what about these plants dormant or dying these ones are dying it's similar to that earlier example where all of the leaves are turning black if you pay close attention to the leaves coming from the center the newest growth they also have started to turn black and the traps are dying before they're fully formed so this again is most likely a situation where it was overwatered. it hasn't received enough light and very very likely that it had mineral burn from tap water on it all right dormant or dying this one is dying if not already dead so what happened here is that this plant is shriveled up there are no healthy leaves on it and if you look at it there are you know a little bit of black leaves but the majority are still green they're just shriveled up and what does that mean it hasn't received enough water and i wanted to include this specific picture in the video because i noticed a lot of people talking about having their plants dry out for dormancy and triggering dormancy by keeping them dry you should be watering your venus flytrap all year round that sphagnum moss needs to stay moist otherwise your plant is going to dry out and die in the winter time you can reduce the watering because it's colder there's not as much evaporation the plant isn't using as much water but you absolutely still need to keep watering your venus flytraps during dormancy all right, so here's an example of what a lot of people's Venus flytraps look like when they bring them inside their house and put them on the windowsill for the winter. So has this plant gone dormant? No, absolutely not. You can see the leaves look very junky. They're almost all entirely yellow. The new growth is kind of short and closer to the ground, but you can see there's no healthy traps forming on that. So this is a plant that is dying from a lack of light and probably is being kept way too warm now during the months of October. November. 
All right, so to wrap this all up, here we have a great example of a Venus flytrap that's going dormant. As you can see, there are some longer leaves on this plant. Those are from the summertime when the leaves grow tall. And closer to the center, you can see there are short leaves, that ground covering rosette of newly formed leaves. This is exactly what you should be striving for. Overall, the plant still looks very healthy, looks very robust. Pretty much it just shrinks down in size for the winter time, but overall the appearance is healthy. So like I said, this is about it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments.